High school basketball season kicking off in earnest, and tonight we have a good girls basketball game for you. Auburn and Grafton. Grafton's a very young team. Five freshmen on the varsity roster for the Indians, and meanwhile, Auburn, they are all juniors and seniors. Strike up the band for this one, folks. First quarter, Auburn on the run, and the Rockets so good on the fast break. The layup, and Auburn is up by three. Grafton coming back. Abigail Rogers, the freshman. Catch it high, turn, pivot, shoot it high. Indians are within three. Auburn coming back with some great passing. Just unselfish basketball and good fundamental basketball. The bounce pass, the lost art. Rockets are up by five. Grafton's Lauren Eddy to Rogers. Nice play, and the Indians are down by three. Auburn. Shot is off the mark. Offensive rebound, though, and great strength. The putback, Auburn up by four at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, more Auburn. This time, some long-range bombing. Beyond the arc, Auburn's got a three, and the Rockets are up by five. And they're not done. Playing the defense. Right off the steal, coast to coast, and Auburn up by 11. And here comes Grafton, freshman Anna Kopira with a deep jumper. Not enough, though. Auburn gets the win tonight, 60 to 42. College basketball, women's basketball, Becker and Eastern Nazarene tonight, first half. 27 to 10, Eastern Nazarene in front. Jordan Grays firing it up in amongst the trees. It's up and in. Then Eastern Naz going inside to Elia Salazar. Tough two. Eastern Nazarene up by 20. Caitlin Memory. Three ball, corner pocket, Eastern Naz up big. Gabriel Gallo, a quick two for Becker. More from the Hawks. Shot is off the mark, but Gallo working hard on the offensive glass. The rebound, the putback. Third quarter. We got more Becker and some local products. Two great passing. Sierra McKissick, former Shepherd Hill standout, knocking down the 12 foot jump shot. Avery Bass, Bassingthwaite putting it to the floor. And Becker's hanging tough. But Eastern Nazarene getting the victory tonight. 70 to 41 is your final. Holy Cross coach David Berard is in his second year with the team, so the players know his style. And right now they're executing well. Just one point out of first place in the league. We've uh, had a focus this year of just trying to improve game by game and week by week. And from the start of the year when we played Quinnipiac, I believe we've gotten better and better every week. And every week we evaluate our pluses and negatives from the weekend. And our guys have been really good at working at the things that they have to do better. We've been trying to play a lot faster this year offensively and defensively and we're starting to get into a rhythm of how we want to play and starting to develop that style of how we want to play and it's been really effective and we as we've scored more our goals against have come down in the last nine games and that's led to success. Success indeed Holy Cross has won five in a row nine of their last 11. They are on the road this weekend at Bentley on Friday and Saturday night. Well, the Olympic trials continuing, and Jermaine Ortiz Rodriguez, the Worcester product right out of the Boys and Girls Club, is still going. He is 2-1 and one now, and he won last night 3-0. He is fighting Gary Russell tonight. Now, that fight should go off in about 20 minutes out in Reno, Nevada. Gary Russell's brother was an Olympic, former Olympic boxer, and is now a pro. So Russell's got a name, but Jermaine Ortiz Rodriguez is fighting very well right now, fighting with a lot of confidence. I spoke with Carlos Garcia, his trainer, out in Reno, Nevada today. He was very confident about Jermaine winning this fight. He's down to the final four. Right now, there's only four fighters left in his weight class. If he can win tonight, he's probably going to have to win three or four more fights this week to get the Olympic nod. But it's something he can do. Carlos Garcia is very confident uh, in Jermaine Ortiz. Now, they're fighting this year without headgear, so that's something new. But Jermaine has not been cut. Not really marked up. Carlos said they've been using a lot of ice, but you know that's something that could affect a fighter too in a, in a situation where you're fighting every single day. Not affecting Jermaine Ortiz. A lot of confidence with him right now. He's calm, he's relaxed. His coach, Carlos Garcia, very confident right now. And Jermaine going all the way, winning this, 
and representing the U.S. in the Olympics. Very exciting to see that he's out there. He's in the mix. Yeah, it's incredible, and it's, it's big, of course, for the city of Worcester, but big for the Boys and Girls Club, too. Jermaine went down to the Boys and Girls Club when he was six years old. He's 19 years old right now, so he's been a Boys Club kid for 13 years, and Carlos said in all his time, there's only one other kid that he's never had to kick out of the gym. You know, if kids are horsing around or he gets a bad report card from their high school or from their elementary school teacher, Carlos, he'll kick him right out of the gym because he's teaching him a lot more than just boxing. But he says, you know what? Never had to kick Jose Rivera out of the gym. Never had to kick Jermaine Ortiz out of the gym. And he never had to ask Jermaine to do more. He just, whatever he says, what I do, tell Jermaine, do this, run, do this, do this. Jermaine always does it. So he's in great shape, which is a big thing when you're fighting every single day for a week. You know, conditioning is going to be so huge. And right now, Jermaine has that on his side. And then going back to high school basketball starts off this week. That was a good game. Earlier. Yeah, it was a good game right there. Auburn, uh, very talented. And what you see there is the veteran team, juniors and seniors. And you see this Grafton team, a lot of young guns. Grafton is going to get better and better as this season goes along. Two freshmen playing prominent roles for the Indians. You wait till they get three, four weeks under their belt of games. This is a team that's going to really open eyes by the end of the season. All right, Kevin Shea, thank okay. you very much for sports. That'll do it for us this evening. For Kevin Shea, AD Madison, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow evening at 6.